Hello my soccer universe and welcome to another unpacking video and if you're looking at for unpacking because the first New Jersey video was a reveal this is the first unpacking video and it's filling one major gap that opened up during the 23-24 season which is Girona and I'm really 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 happy that I could fill this Catalan gap but it was not easy and before I open that parcel right here let me quickly tell you the story i mean uh usually when a team is performing really well i usually wait for a certain amount of time i, re I remember i think two or three seasons ago leverkusen were doing really well uh they were even in high my predictions for the europa league and then they fell off a cliff and in a way i could deal without a Leverkusen shirt uh, but I still decided then to get finally get one uh, later on when I found one on sale and this ha I've had this phenomenon for quite a while however when I saw Girona doing a so well I mean at the half a point of the season they have 48 points they most certainly will make it into Europe, which triggers already one of the conditions for me of buying a team that I don't have. Yes, they have qualified for Europe. That's why I was going after an Osasuna shirt uh, in, during the summer break uh, in 23. Uh, in addition, if you look around Girona shirts, at least if you're looking here from Austria and even with some searching skills, uh, you know, I didn't necessarily look all over Spain for that, although I probably could have enlisted my brother for that, who is not living in Spain. Uh, not that far from Girona, to be honest. Um, they're not that easy to come by. They don't pop up on Wilhelm. So over the this month of December, I have been, or even starting already in November, when it was really, I mean, the latest when they beat Barca. Uh, I was looking by Girona jersey and uh, went all over, I mean, forget eBay. Um, I could find a few. But then uh, the other thing is, which Girona jersey should, should I get? Because let's be honest. The one from the current season uh, is one of those weird Puma templates where the coloring, at least when I thaw, thought about the first time, doesn't look right. Uh, the previous season they had this very adventurous one with a red, white, uh, you know, quartered, which is definitely an interesting thing. Um, the question is, can you get this one? Uh, curiously enough, the one from the first season that I actually did jersey reviews 2018-19, they had a diagonally striped red and white jersey. And this is the one thing that actually intrigued me always about Girona. Well, traditionally they're red and white stripes, but over the, ever since the 18-19 season they have been trying really hard to get away from the classic red and white striped look because there are so many way more prominent teams in Spain that have that look. In the end, I narrowed it down. If I want to have a Girona jersey, three options. Three options that I realistically can get. Uh, I saw on eBay one from the half ha uh, with a half half look. I think they were wearing this in a uh, sec when they were in La Liga dos. Uh, but I discarded that one. It was one from the La Liga season. It's either the 1890, the one from the previous season, and the one from the current season. And yeah, let's put it that way. The one from the previous season, can I find it at the moment? The one from the 18-19 season, I actually could find it on goal in for around 50. And the current season was already sold out in the Girona store. Uh, but I could find another version. I, I, I could find it somewhere else and I kind of said, yeah, that might be. So. To decide between those two, I enlisted, of course, my wife, I asked my daughters, and wow. the votes were relatively clear. And so, I have your Girona jersey, and by the way, while I'm cutting this bag open, I have decided, you know, you don't need the entire unpacking process uh, filmed right, right, it's kind of empty in the space. So, I'm gonna move it forward and I will do a cut here and I will straight take the shirt off the bag. I think it's better. The bag is opened. Which one is it? Let's take it out. Uh, 
I guess when I show you it will clearly be it will be clear it is the one from the current season and yes I paid full price however as I said it was already sold out on the um, on the official store and I had to find it from an some from Samsung or somewhere else and this was JD Sports now the pro of this one is I could really find it in my size XL and as I said my wife especially but also one of my girls definitely were in favor of this one and given that they're doing so well and if they win the Spanish championship this is probably quite the historic shirt I think I went along with it and I'll let you know while the design admittedly is really odd I actually found no way to look at it to find it not that displeasing anymore and by the way outside of the last shirt that came <laughs> with the season tickets this is my first 23-24 shirt no that's not true the Venezia shirt is also from 23-24 so here it is here's the front and here's the back it has like all Catalan teams the Catalan flag which is actually something really nice let's hang it up and let's talk a teeny bit more about it okay here here it is the front as you saw it doesn't have anything on the on the back it doesn't even have the new La Liga logo which is a little bit disappointing if we are honest but you know I think they don't do this anymore uh, maybe a La Liga patch would, would, would be nice to add to this one but yes you see they have still the red and white stripes but again in typically Puma being Puma fashion uh, it is very uneven especially that the center stripe is a lot thinner than the next two and then it's all red on the, on, on the sides when I saw this this doesn't make any sense to me and I saw a few Puma shirts that have striped tam templates that don't like it I mean there was the Rapid home jersey that uses the same pinstripe pattern there is the Manchester City which kind of hides it uh, with an additional pattern and there are a few others out there I think Alaves is doing it kind of right but what makes this so odd is that the sleeves then are red and yeah at first I didn't like it but if I look at it another way this is a reverse Ajax with some additional striping in the middle that kind of makes it a little bit different if I look at it that way I actually think it's not that bad so you know don't focus on the red focus on the white and then this makes this all look a little bit better as I said I am I've come around to it I am fully <laughs> behind Girona this season yes uh, I know it's not the fairy tale that many people would like it to be but it's still an amazing story I mean this is a team that plays the only the fourth La Liga season in their history and they're right in a title race the only team that probably can challenge the Giants of Real Madrid and on their way to be the number one uh, team in Catalonia that's pretty amazing stuff we see them maybe potentially and yeah, we have to see if we will see them in the Champions League as well but yeah that's it this hole is patched up this is a hole I never thought will open up I really thought at the start of the season I'm really doing well with my La Liga collection um, and yes I paid 95 euros for it it is a really expensive shirt and then in, in addition I got the messages stuck in customs fortunately I didn't have to pay anything in addition uh, for that yes it came from the UK I'm sure you still can find it at JD Sports uh, if you're in, in, in interested in any case let me know what you think about this jersey uh, whether you have a Girona shirt did you get it because at the fan store in Girona you could have gotten it for 80 plus shipping but I guess I would have paid around the same price so yeah so be it any case give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel if you want to see more I'll talk to you soon bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!